Hello, everybody. I'm back. Yes, a little fancy, a little fancy. And part of that is because the 28th of August is my two-year anniversary of being doing this stuff. So I had to, like, gussy a little. Now, this look is actually part of the one palette, three looks, and I'm using the Zodiac. I got it. I finally got it. I've got it. It was on special. So there you go. And this little thing. I got off a top hat because something else that I ordered didn't come in. So I had credit. And I looked at this and go, cool. And when I bought it, it still left me another $2 credit. But I wanted it. There's a bunch of the, the sci-fi and fantasy fans that are currently doing Tiara Tuesdays. And I figured, what the heck? Let me do it. Now, over the time that I have been on this channel. I have had not really that many rude comments. I got one this morning. I don't know if Facebook took it down or if somebody else reported it. If it's one of my viewers that reported it, thank you. But it still came up on my list of comments, you know, when you get the bell icon. And I don't entirely understand it. I did a say his name for Jacob Blake. Yes, he is not dead. At least not since the last time I heard. However, he is paralyzed from the waist down. He was shot for no good reason in front of his three little sons, eight, five, and three guys. And all I did was, was ask, why can't we stop shooting? And this guy got on and chewed me out. First off, because Jacob Blake isn't dead. And I'm going, Jacob Blake isn't dead. And I said that at the beginning. And I'm going, just because I'm asking somebody to remember that this young black man was shot up to the tune of seven bullets at point blank range and he managed to live through it but it's also traumatized the hoo-ha out of three little children I'm going why shouldn't we say his name and apparently I was also quote unquote buying into the shiz that's not what he said, but buying into the shiz of trying to make martyrs out of these people. And I'm going, I don't make martyrs out of these people. The cops do. And then to follow it up with the mess that happened at the protest... I mean, the 17-year-old brat 
with a gun. Comes running past the cops. Nobody stopped him. Starts shooting up the protesters. Kills two. Wounds one who tried to disarm him. And then turns around, puts his little paws in the air. And the cops are handing him water and telling him, Thank you for being here, because apparently he's big into Blue Lives Matter. He became a fugitive because the cops let him go, and he went home, which is a different town. But I've got somebody chewing me out for trying to recognize that somebody who didn't need to be shot up was shot up and could have just as easily died than recover at all. And that his little children were not taken into consideration when Mr. Boom Boom decided to start pulling the trigger. So, anyway, hi. I decided that I would do Zodiac, which is kind of old school at this um, particular time, because it was popular when I first started, and do the BH Zodiac as my three looks, one palette, for this particular set because of my anniversary. And I got fancy. I put jewelry on. No, I didn't get fancy and put fancy clothes on. You only get one thing here. Jewelry. I don't care. Some of it's gold. Some of it's silver. Some of it can be got over. Anyway, since I'm a Virgo, I used both the matte and the Shimmer Virgo. My husband is a Libra. But then again, so are my mom and my dad. So, I used the Shimmer. And then the matte on the outside corner. Now, my mother-in-law, Gemini. So that's what's in the inner corner here. So that's kind of what I did. When I got the palette, this was busted. Of course, when I got the palette, I didn't keep any of the stuff that you have to do, have to keep to to like get it replaced so yeah anyway let's see if i can get yeah gemini down here most everything else is up over here on this side so i let them know that it came in busted to <laughs> And they're like going, well, we need this and we need that. And we need the exterior packaging and all the, and the, and the, the cotton picking um, receipt stuff and all that. And I'm going, dude, I don't keep all that crap. I'd already thrown that out two days, two or three days before I opened the wrapper on it. So, too bad, so sad. And I said, look, I just wanted to let you know there was an incident. I'm not asking you to replace it at this point. I don't have any of that crap. So, whatever. Tell me what you think. And let me remind you, if you like what you see, 
it doesn't cost you a thing to hit subscribe, to hit like, leave a comment if you're feeling up to it. If you think this is pretty nifty and you think somebody else might enjoy it, I dare you to share it. That doesn't cost anything either. Um, I've also got a video that's going to be tagged at the end. Yes, I put stuff on the end of the film as suggestions. The One of the films that I have on the tag end at this point is one that I took me a month to finally get to where I could put it on the list. I did a commentary based on the disturbed bands take on Sound of Silence. Now, when Sound of Silence first came out, Simon and Garfunkel, voices like little angels, the words meant something. But their voices, so quiet and lyrical and beautiful, I really don't think people were listening. Disturbed, they're a death metal band. If you are familiar with Disturbed and some of their other music, this one's going to confuse you. If you're not familiar with Disturbed, but you understand that death metal is not going to be angelic and lyrical and all that, it's going to surprise you. The words hit like a hammer. Because we are in a situation where we have the neon gods that people are following. We have people speaking without talking. They're just chattering and chattering and chattering. But they're not really saying anything. We have people hearing without listening. They hear the voices. They're not listening to the words. We are in a place at this point where we really, really need to rethink how we look at things, how we interact with things, how we interact with other people people, how we interact with news, how we interact with basic information. I mean, we're, we've turned away from the scientists, and that used to be basic information. We've got to rethink this. So, this is my number one look on the new series. No, not all the looks are going to be chatty. I'm doing this again for my anniversary. Two years. Pink Sweets, Anya Stamper encouraged me to do this. And I'm still doing it. And I'm still doing school. And I'm still gaming. And I'm still doing my craft work. 
and I'm still dodging my grandchildren and my son while I'm doing I love my grandkids. I love my grandkids. I love my grandkids. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share, leave me a message. Tell me what you think. Stay out of trouble. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Put the mask on and do it right. Cover your nose, cover your mouth. Oh, don't argue. That if you, it's like, don't forget, if you don't, you can get sick. Yep, you could. My little town that was doing just fine now has 52 cases and one death. We a little town. It finally got here. Remember, I don't have bail money. Be good. Mm -hmm.